What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Today we're going to be looking at an item from a company called Core Essentials. Um, so they reached out to me to see if I'd like a to do a review on one of their products. Um, and I, I mean obviously as a smaller YouTuber I definitely jumped on that as fast as possible. And what I ended up getting was one of their tactical gun belts. Um, so as you know, I have my Condor belt for my range belt and my uh, duty belt that I use at work. And then I use a Bigfoot gun belt belt for my work belt. But I need a new belt for home. Um, I'll show you. I got a demonstration I'm going to do here in a little bit to show you the difference in this belt compared to my normal EDC belt that I was wearing. Um, and I, it's kind of wearing out. I needed a new belt. So... Um, definitely jumped on the opportunity to work with Core Essentials and do a review on one of their products. So this is it. This is the Core Essentials Tactical Gun Belt. If I can get the camera to focus on the buckle there. There you go. So you can see the K-O-R-E with their logo on the buckle. This is their X6 buckle in black. And we'll go over that as we go. Um, so... Let's talk about what makes this belt different from your normal belt that you might go pick up at Walmart. Um, I have a Bigfoot gun belt leather belt that I use as my dress belt. Um, and just like a normal belt, it's got holes that go down along the belt here for the adjustments. You slide it through, you clip it, and that's what you have. Um, downside to that belt is, as I lost weight um, a couple years back, my i ran out of holes on the belt and it was a steel lined belt so i had to use a drill bit i couldn't even use like a regular leather punch i had to use a drill bit to drill holes through that steel center weakening it in certain areas just to add more holes that's the advantage of this core belt or this uh, core essentials belt so what they consider this is a track line or a ratchet belt and what that is is these teeth on the back of the belt here come on camera There you go, all those little teeth actually hooked to the back of the buckle. So let me show you in here. So there's this little release lever right here on the side and on the back of the buckle, you can see this little tab here. That's what actually ca catches those teeth. Now that, that gives you f over 40 adjustment points at a quarter inch each. So when you place this belt in, the buckle and I'll let you hear it here you can hear it kind of ratchet down and that's what actually locks the belt in place and then say you're out to dinner like me I like to eat ribs after a good meal at the roadhouse that belt gets a little tight so you just push down on that lever let that belt out just a little bit a couple adjustments you have a huge range of adjustments that you can get out of this belt because of what it is because of that ratcheting system um, so that's why I was I was really intrigued to actually uh, check this out and do a review on I've been wearing it for a few days and um, I'll tell you this thing is ten times better than my EDC belt that I already had and let's just go over a little bit of the specs here so um, this is their like I said, this is their tactical belt. So it is uh, the nylon. I got it in the coyote or tan. Um, they also sell a leather and a garrison. So the leather belt and the tactical belt are both inch and a half wide. The only difference between these and the garrison, the garrison is an inch and three quarters. So it's more what I would consider like a, um, like a duty belt or um, for us, like we, at work, we can also wear an outside belt over top of our regular one and just keep our setup on it that we use day to day, you know, a cuff case, um, key keepers, things like that. So I would use one for something like that. It also will fill the 511 belt loops. Um, I believe 511 that my TDUs that I wear are inch and three quarter. So that would be nice for the garrison. But I went with the uh, just the tactical gun belt and 
So I got an inch and inch and a quarter, yeah, sorry, inch and a half belt, 40 plus adjustments on the ratchet, and it has a power core center. So as you can see, just holding it up here, it holds its weight. And yeah, sure, my EDC belt kind of does. You can kind of see it bowing. So this is the belt that I wore, I've been wearing for years. It's Trayvex EDC belt. It's a single leather not or single layer nylon belt and I brought this out to show you guys what that power core is actually capable of doing on the core essentials belt. Um, so for the for the core essentials, the three different belts hold different weights if you get the gun belts. Uh, leather is capable of holding up to four pounds. So your your typical concealed carry pistols, uh, my shield, and I have that here. I don't think we're gonna be able to do a test with it because that Trayvex without being actually strung through a, um, through a pair of pants, it can't even handle the weight of the, the shield. Uh, but the leather one will hold four pounds and it is, it comes in a length of 44, or yeah, 44 inches. The tactical nylon and the, the or yeah, let me just stop there. The tactical nylon belt, the gun belt, uh, is rated up to eight pounds and it comes in a total length of 55 inches and I'll show you what you do there and then the garrison belt holds 10 pounds and same thing 54 inches there um, so what I mean by how long the belt comes so I have mine adjusted already but if you look on the back of the belt here try to get the camera to focus on it and bring it down here Sorry guys, the camera's just not liking this belt or this video for some reason. But you can see there's kind of those notch marks there. Um, and this one here is 30 inches and they go up from there. Oh yeah, now you want to focus. Goes up from there, here's 40. And then I actually have it cut at the 42. So 41 is right here at the buckle and then 42 is at the back. So what you do when you get this belt, it comes at 55 inches. You get a, or a, I'm sorry, 54 inches. So you get a 54 inch belt, you measure your waist size, you go to that notch mark, and you just cut the belt off. Um, and then on the buckle for the X6, you slide the belt in, it stops right up here. There's two set screws and then this lever, um, and I can kind of flip it back. Hopefully you guys can see, oh, there we go. So. The leather, that lever is actually spiked and that actually goes right down inside the belt like that. You tighten down your set, whoop, sorry, <laughs> like that and then you tighten down your set screws and that holds that belt in place. There's no way to get that out. Um, and then you have your belt. Now they do suggest that you add uh, four inches for inside the waistband concealed carry. Um, and then that's it. Nothing else to it. It's that simple. Uh, I've never had a belt come that fit nicer than this. Um, obviously these style belts that the, the, the belt just slides through. Yeah, they have unlimited adjustment, but they also have to be super flexible to go in and out of those buckles. This one here is a nice strong belt, huge adjustment, quarter inch. That's not a lot of I mean, let me move it one click here for you. There's one click. So you've seen the buckle barely moved. Do it again. So that's, that's the, the size of adjustment you have as you're pulling that through. And then you just pull right back out. Flip that little lever which releases the tab that hooks onto the ratchets. Pulls right out. Um, now for, see if I'm missing anything, uh, buckles. So I went with the X6 buckle, which is that one there. Thought it was kind of cool looking, has that, uh, come on camera, there we go. Has this kind of like honeycomb design to the buckle here. The X5 actually doesn't have that inner layer, it's just this outer band and then this cross band here. So the honeycomb is out. 
Um, they have a ton of buckle options. They have really professional and stylish looking ones for um, if you were a businessman, you had to be in a suit, you could wear something, you could wear one of their leather gun belts with a very nice looking buckle. They come in a bunch of different colors. Uh, you can get them, uh, well, obviously black, gunmetal gray, they have stainless. Um, they have your Western style buckles. They have like a flag or the Texas star. Um, they have a cowboy, a couple other ones. So you got a bunch of options for different buckles. And for the leather belts, you're supposed to be able to switch the buckle or the belt um, in just a couple seconds. You should be able to just pop it right off, pop the new belt right in and lock it down and it's good to go. The, the, the tactical belts do have the set screws. Um, I don't believe the leather belts have the set screws. If I'm wrong, I will update it in the description. So, Let's see here. Comes with a 30 day money back guarantee and a full one year replacement warranty. This setup right here, uh, which was the belt, the buckle, and I uh, must have dropped the other piece. I'll have to find it here. Uh, this was uh, 59, this is 59.95 on their website. So for $60, you're getting a really nice belt that you get a thousand different adjustments with. It'll hold up to eight pounds, so kind of works out. Let me see if, when I took the belt apart, I must have dropped my buckle, and it's probably gonna be lost now. <laughs> no, in my luck, I'll have to find it later. So, it they do come with a, um, a Velcro belt keeper, they call it. It's just a, um, little piece of material that goes around so that you can slide the tail through to hold the tail in place. Uh, Core Essentials also sent me this protective sleeve. This is for concealed carry or open carry even. So to give you an example, I'm going to remove my pistol from my holster here. So this is my um, Cook's holster and what you're supposed to do is just use that protective sleeve wherever you're riding your holster at on your belt that way it doesn't damage or start fraying the belt at all over an extended period of time. Um, I also run a belt slide holster and I didn't notice any any damage on my old belt where that holster sits. There's a little bit of rubbing marks so I wasn't worried about it on this and with that sleeve on it actually won't even fit. Um, and then the last item that I was sent over, if you do decide to go with Core Essentials for a belt and you get multiple, I plan, uh, I plan on getting a leather belt to replace my Bigfoot belt um, as kind of my nice belt. And they have this uh, cool little belt hanger here, just a plastic belt hanger. So you put this up on your rail and it's designed to actually work with the ratchet system. So you can easily just ratchet the belt right on. It'll hold two, obviously. And you just push that lever just like you were to, to release your pants or release the belt, loosen it up to uh, release it off the, the hanger. So a couple cool items they sent me out just to look at. And I'll tell you what, um, tactical power core, okay. Um, the power core is a proprietary blend, so not 100% sure what all it's made out of, but um, as you can see, if, I, if you look at the side of the belt here, you can see there's kind of layers to it. So here's your outer tan layer, and then there's that black inner layer. Um, so you have a couple different layers of material here to make up the, the belt. So let me show you guys what, I, what that power core is capable of doing. So this is my EDC belt, my Travex EDC belt. And I have another item I'm gonna be reviewing here in the future. I'm just gonna sling it on. Now this is a belt holster for EDC items. So I have, just to give you an overview of how much weight's on here, I have a Poca pen, I have a Olight S2 R2 
my bastion gear titanium pen and a little cobalt multi-tool and i'm just gonna string this belt up here just like i'd be wearing it all right guys so there's that piece and it can't even pick this up just swings all right so let me show you the power core difference so we'll get rid of that and we'll open up our core essentials belt here same thing not changing anything on that adapter slide it onto the belt tighten it down now it does have some droop to it but i mean that's a lot of weight honestly in one area obviously it's not on a pair of pants this isn't being supported by anything it does have a little bit of droop but it's not hanging down like this like the the uh, travex belt it actually does let me pick it up so there is a little bit of flex and that's what that power core is different in comparison to like my bigfoot belt that steel core has no give none um, you put that belt on and it is solid the whole way around it stays like this doesn't matter if you're twisting or bending and this one here actually gives you a little bit of twist and bend and roll not a ton but enough that you can get through everyday tasks and be comfortable that's my biggest thing that bigfoot belt for me is just not it's not comfortable anymore and this one is um, like i said i've been wearing it for a couple days with while testing out this holster um, at one point i did have a leatherman oht on there and uh, my shield at the same time a couple things in my pockets a blade um, you know essentials and i never once had to adjust my my pants pick them up bending squatting turning sitting down for a couple hours driving i never once had to adjust my shorts or my my pants anytime um, it's real comfortable the buckles are slim they don't get in the way they don't i'm a bigger guy so i got a little rollover um, they don't bother me you know they're not pinching or prodding into me at all so definitely a a great option now here's the nice thing guys um, core essentials was nice enough to hook us up for if you've seen it at the beginning of the video i put it up there i'm going to put it up here on the screen again somewhere i don't know where um, for my viewers if you go on to coreessentials.com and pick out any item on the website, doesn't matter what it is, um, use the code TNM10 on coreessentials.com. That'll get you 10% off anything on the website. Um, there will also be a link in the description below to the website and the discount code will be down there as well for you guys. Um, they were nice enough to hook us up and get us some discounts for you guys and hopefully help you uh, come back and watch some more videos and go pick up some of their awesome gear. Now they don't just sell belts, they also sell hats, t-shirts, uh, wallets, keychains, things like that. So they sell a different bunch of different items. Belts come in a ton of different colors. They even have carbon fiber and camo if you're into that. Um, but check them out guys. The, this is definitely an awesome business, small business based out of California. Let's support them. Uh, I know I'm going to from here on out. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.